Scotland. Downtown Milwaukee is seen from the shore of Lake Michigan on a cloudless day. Well, this is what we've all been waiting for. Game seven. The winner to advance to the conference finals and get one step closer to a championship. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin Durant said his days of trying to prove himself through basketball are done. He said, walking around with a chip on my shoulder is not my thing. I'm more relaxed in letting these days flow. I'm the best version of me. I don't need to prove who I am. I've been in it for too long. Kevin, this is a guy who was finally comfortable with himself. All right, thanks, D.A. So the next starting five, Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Allen is out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Durant in at the small forward. And for the Bucks, Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez, the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the point. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Bloodso against Irving. Passes to Durant. Six on the shot clock. Lavert with a wide open look from outside off the mark. Matthews passes to Giannis. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, you've got to watch those long arms of Jared Allen. Twice off the pipe, send it back. Lavert kicks to Irving. The pass to Durant. For Middleton. Second chance shot, and that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. Yeah, that's a tough call for the rest to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. On offense here, the Bucks need to bounce back from Wednesday's loss. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the shoot case if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. The alley -oop play up very well done. Well, just an easy hoop, all set up by the passing instincts of Eric Bledsoe. Outside Irving. Durant deciding where to go with it. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, this is exactly how you want to attack the defense. Kevin Durant accepting the punishment, but refuses to be denied. Giannis passes to Lopez. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Outside Irving. Lovert against Andekumbo. Puts it up from 17. That shot is off. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Andre Dekumbo's got his second bucket of the game to go. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now here's Durant. That's good from 17 feet away. Oh, those jumpers, they might as well be layups for Kevin Durant. That's his comfort zone, Kev. Ludzo passes to Giannis. Here's Middleton. Overt defending. And that's good. Chris Middleton for three. And that makes it a tie ball game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. And Greg, you know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab timeout, that backboard. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game.
platoon swap here for Milwaukee. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. Harris is checked in for Karis LeVert. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Now here's Korver. Here's Ilyasova. The rebound by Prince. The Nets with the lead. Dinwiddie outside. That three off the mark. The Bucs have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%, and the basket by Hill. Well out in transition, George Hill knows the spots he needs to get to. Terrific job on the finish. Pass to Harris. Defense! Defense! 129 left to play here in the first. Pass to Allen. Tries from 10. Rebounded by Corver. Milwaukee has gone 1-2 from long range in the first quarter. Hill kicks to Lopez. He dishes it to Ilias over. A miss that time would have put him up. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Harris passes to Allen. Over Corver. Allen, that's good. Well, how about the touch inside from Jared Allen? This guy has got such length and mobility. You add that touch and look out, folks. He's going to be tremendous. Now, here's Lopez. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Excellent D there from Allen. The Nets have gone 6 of 12 in the field here in the first quarter. Dinwiddie wide open, and he hits the jumper for two. Probably wasn't the shot they were looking for, but they'll take the bucket. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Dinwiddie against Hill. Lopez outside. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Kept alive. Elias Silva hits the bucket. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Nets lead by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. At one time, a poor free throw shooter. DeAndre Jordan has really improved this part of his game, and he was asked back when he was struggling if he had ever considered shooting them underhand, like some have in the past. I haven't. I've never tried it. I've never secretly tried it in practice or anything like that. I think I'm going to try to shoot it regular for a while, and uh, if that's my last resort, then, then so be it. You know, he's made some progress with his method, though. Yeah, him, Drummond, Capella, a lot of the guys who were getting the hack-a-shack treatment have made great strides. And we're back courtside at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play, setting the floor for the Nets. On the perimeter, Harris and Prince. Allen is out there with Wilson Chandler, and it's Dinwiddie in at the one. Well, Jared Allen has length and athleticism, and that's an easy opportunity. Wow. Pass to Lopez. Oh, good on that one. Excellent D there from Allen. Prince, that's for two. Milwaukee with the rebound. Boy, defense nowhere to be found, and neither was his shot at that time. Ilyasova passes to Lopez. Here's Connaughton, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. Some changes for Brooklyn. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Jared Allen. Kevin Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. And Irving subbed in for Prince. And it's Harris with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Irving against Middleton. Harris dishes to Durant. Let's it go from 11. Giannis with some nice D. Bucks trail by four. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Got it. Good job in the low post. 
Donos has got his third bucket of the night. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the miss. To the middle. He can't hit that shot. And Milwaukee the other way now. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Dinwiddie against Bledsoe. The pass to Antetokounmpo. Over Urban. And Giannis hits it to go. On the assist from Eric Bledsoe. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Irving surveying the floor. And here's KD for three. But they recover it. Here's Harris. No luck. They battle on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Middleton. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Irving passes to Harris. Back to Irving. Five to shoot. Over Middleton. And it's Jordan with the jam. Jordan's got the game tied up here for the Nets. How many times have we seen DeAndre Jordan take it off the window and convert? Boy, he is so good. Lopez passes to Giannis. Trying to get open is Lopez. And that one's good by Giannis. Andre the Kumbo's got six points in the quarter. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Outside Jordan. Shoots it up. KD can't get it to go. Andre the Kumbo, no good. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting a lot cluster. 38% for the game, struggling so far. Duran against Middleton. Here's Dinwiddie. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Bucks have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Bledsoe looking around. Lopez. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got three assists tonight. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get his shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Checked in for Jordan. Chandler comes in for Kevin Durant. Prince has checked in for Joe Harris. And it's Lavert in for Dinwiddie. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Irving. The Bucks have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Lopez kicks to Connington. Outside Hill. Over Irving, and again, it's Milwaukee converted. Well, you love to watch George Hill stroke it from the mid-range, demonstrates his ability to score from just about anywhere. On its way from Irving for two. Milwaukee with the rebound. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And that one's good from Connaughton. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Irving. He's got five. It's stolen by Hill. The shot will not fall. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have had their sights set on Kevin Durant, and they've done a terrific job holding him in check. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops and uh, getting rebound and getting down the push, you know, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. Well, for the Bucks, it was a good, solid first half of basketball they played, and I'm sure they're going to be focused on extending that lead quickly in the third quarter to ensure this is not a game seven that's going to go right down to the wire. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? We're seeing the Giannis effect. First player to ever finish in the top 20 in all five major statistical categories. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? It doesn't speak for its overall impact, but I just want to tell you, that's impressive. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. You know, they haven't shot the ball very well. Not nearly enough quality looks. Right now, this game can easily come down to shots and how they run their offense. They need to keep the ball moving and generate better looks. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small four. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is. And it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. Two, two, two. The first one falls. <laughs> oh, free throws good from out of the Kumbo. Nets trail by eight. Outside Durant over Bledsoe. Jump shot is good that time. KD's got six points. And Zoyanis will bring it up for the Bucks. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. And KD throws it down. You love the leadership of Kyrie Irving from the lead guard position. Yes, he's looking to score, but he's adept at finding the open teammate. They get it back, and under Takumbo slams it in. It'd be nice if everybody took as much pride in his rebounding as he does. You know what, I, Greg, he loves that part of the game, and it shows. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. And it's good for two. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. As to Irving. No good. Good D by Lopez. And the wide open shot from Bledsoe. And another basket for Milwaukee. Well, the rhythm, the timing when Bledsoe is in his groove, look out on the catch and shoot. Pops it up for Jordan. No hesitation at all on the alley. -oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there to form defense. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Timeout called the Bucks. 
every time out a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Joe Harris comes in for Jared Allen. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. At the Takumbo finds Middleton. Back to Anadakumbo. Unloads from 13. Almost, but it rolls out. Nets trail by eight. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And that one drops for him. That's now eight points for DeAndre Jordan. Well, that's interesting. Out in space, the defender challenging DeAndre Jordan's shot. Makes some contact, but it doesn't bother him. He's carried this team to this lead on his back, handling almost all the scoring duties. And Brooklyn has possession. After the basket by Milwaukee to the paint, Lopez with the steal. And Giannis throws it down. Well, nice job by Wesley Matthews to read the defense and put it on time and on target. Pass to Jordan. Back to Dinwiddie. Passes it to Harris. Five on the clock. Giannis grabs the miss. Ante Dekumbo's got four rebounds in this game. No good from Bloodsoe. And that's trail by 10. Not loose. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Bloodsoe. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodsoe. Wilson Chandler's checked in for the Nets. Torian Prince comes in for Karis LeVert. Now here's Dinwiddie. Jordan dishes to Dinwiddie. Here's Chandler. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Boy, phenomenal decision making from the young guard. Spencer Dinwiddie, nicely done, putting it on time and on target. Dinwiddie against Hill. It's Andre Kumbo on the wing. That one's not going to go. Prince with the defensive effort. Here's Dinwiddie, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Dinwiddie's got his second basket of the night. A great size at the point guard position. Dinwiddie, fantastic, getting into the paint and making the defense pay. Onto the Kumbo, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's Prince. Good D by Lopez. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Dinwiddie against Hill. Just five on the clock. Lopez passes to Ana de Kumbo. Launches it. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his seventh rebound here tonight. It's stolen by Corver. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now the pass to Hill. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Then for the Nets, Allen comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Harris. Now here is Irving. He's got five. From outside the arc, off target with that shot. 
Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He got to double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. We've got Wilson Chandler. Irving is out there with Spencer Dinwiddie. And there's Jared Allen. And it's Prince in at the small forward position. As soon as Kyrie Irving crosses half court, you have got to guard him. And you've got to be balanced because this guy is an effective, dominant offensive presence. And it's Middleton penetrating. And Greg on the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again. And that's the result of the work put in. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Lopez's checked in for the Bucks. Karis LeVert's checked in for Brooklyn. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch Kenny Atkinson's message to his team. We told him to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. Here's Hill, following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Lopez, no luck. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Outside Irving. Has to then ready. Shot clock at six. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Middleton up top. Levert defending. And here's Corbin from the arc. Levert grabs the miss. And that's trail by three. Here's Dinwiddie. He nails it, and we're tied up. Well, the coaching staff encourages Dinwiddie to take these shots. He is so dangerous on the catch and shoot. Hill looking it over. Over Prince, and the basket by Hill. And the Bucks lead by two. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. The Bucs have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Steps back and shoots. Bucket is good, and it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. Well, silky smooth jump shooting from George Hill. You've got to respect that shooting ability. Here's Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his fourth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that.
different look for Milwaukee. Matthews, he's checked in for Corbin. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for George Hill. Then for the Nets, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Prince. And it's Kevin Durant in for Dinwiddie. Now here's Bledsoe. No good on that one. Jordan with some nice D. I'd say even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Bledsoe. Makes it off the glass. And the Bucks lead by two. Oh, this guy's such a shrewd, fearless competitor when it counts the most. Bledsoe delivers once again. Now here's Irving. It's Levert on the wing. Get the shot. Offensive rebound. Well, DJ with the fearless opportunity, boy. What a right. shot. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. of our Jordan player of the game, DeAndre Jordan. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything has been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Anas Anadokumbo's checked in for Ilyasova. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. We know Kevin Durant is one of the elite players in the NBA, and if there's a big shot to be made, he wants to take it. Now, here's Adedekumbo. And he makes good on the way. Adedekumbo's got it all tied up now for the Bucks, And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. For Milwaukee, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. And the shot goes in. And that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't get it. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And this is what makes KD special, the willingness to absorb the responsibility of the big-time shot. That's good from Durant. And how big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw line. against Allen. The kick out to Matthews. There he's the triple. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Timeout called the Nets. They're trailing by two. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
Kevin Durant. Let's it go with a three. And no good that time. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. They get the rebound. Trying to get open is Lopez. Middleton can't get it to go. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. I'll tell you, they better come up with some points on every possession from now on. And now we've got the intentional foul. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And with Eric Bledsoe, to me, when he's playing with confidence and when he's playing under control, this guy is a big-time difference maker. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, Two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're trailing by four. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? No time to waste here. Quick bucket and a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively, and execution has got to be on point. Outside Irving. And again, it's the Nets missing. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first one and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good and it's a six point ball game. Well this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. And that's an intentional foul. seven-point lead from deep can't get it to fall and so the Milwaukee Bucks take the series and they'll move on they took the long road to get here but they've done it they're moving on to the conference finals Greg after a thrilling seven-game series and a win here in round two and what a memorable series this was so fitting that it came down to a game seven and now no rest for the weary. They've got to get right back to work. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defensive stops. And everybody's just playing their game. And it showed tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. 
That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.